I'm here at the Leslie Holman Gallery for an opening and I'm talking to Evan Lawrence. And you're the one that created this hat? Yes. Yes. It's and the one you're wearing as well? Exactly. It's, it's uh, created uh, from traditional materials uh, such as fabric soaked in glue called buckram, sewn with wire, uh, and all my own original designs. And what do you ask for the hat you're wearing now? I'm sorry? How much do you ask for the hat you're wearing now? Uh, this hat I ask for about $300. Uh, they're all custom made. Um, from unique materials. Uh, while searching for the perfect top hat for myself, I did a lot of research and started designing. Uh, I've actually been a fine artist all my life uh, and performer. And, and what, kind of, what kind of performance did you do or what kind of work did you do before? Uh, I am a singer and I've done improv comedy, but I focus on music now. Did you did you use your hats? Uh, did you have any outfit like a certain hat that you became known of, known by in the karaoke uh, karaoke circuit? Yes, yes, uh, yes. I was a karaoke DJ for three years. Uh, also noted as one of the top karaoke DJs in the city by New York Press. Um, and what, what did you wear an outfit though? Did you have a certain hat or a certain look that you cultivated as a karaoke DJ? Yes, I would change hats all the time. My, my look is basically a rocker sort of look with uh, some kind of outrageous hat. <laughs> but this one here looks somewhat like a gender bending look. The, all the green flowers and the pink ribbon. Yeah, this is a unisexual design. Uh, I, I think this would be lovely on a drag queen. Uh, great as a performance piece. It has a lock box on the top, which can be opened up, the lid opens, and you can actually uh, put things inside. Oh, so we're going to have a ma part of a magician's trick, maybe. Exactly. Yes. Where can pe people can find you on Facebook? Uh, they could find me right now on facebook.com slash Evan Lawrence. And the, what, what will you, do you have some of your wares or some of your creations on, uh, on sale there or displayed there? I have some on display. Uh, they're all custom made, so they're all made to order. Uh, for instance, I am uh, making a piece right now for a performer named Duck Mandu who plays accordion. Uh, I'm making a Mandarin duck hat with a bill for him. But then you do custom. People can come with you with an idea or a design, and, and you can make it to fit them, right? Definitely. Definitely. Do, do you specialize in hats, or do you have other apparel as well? Uh, I specialize in hats, but I'm good at uh, taking jackets and pieces of clothing and tricking them out. Um, I can also hand paint designs. I, I've hand painted t-shirts. Uh, with uh, My specialty is birds. And do you ever work with other artists, like when it comes to painting or doing, I mean, do you sometimes do co-art with another person creating something? I, uh, I haven't done any collaborations, but I'm open to doing them. And, and um, so how long do, do you do only hats, or do you also do other types of clothing besides hats? Uh, T-shirts, basically. Um, I usually make things for myself. But the hats have uh, received such a fantastic response that I'm bringing them everywhere. So. Well, good luck, and thank you very much for the interview, and I'll be looking for you on Facebook. Thank you, and, and may I say also that my hats can be seen uh, at Gothic Renaissance on 4th Avenue between 11th and 12th Street. I'll keep that in mind and go by. Thank you very much.